cerebral autosomal dominant arteriopathy with subcortical infarcts and leukoencephalopathy. Catacil. Everyone says, what is it? Even when you go to the doctors, they don't know what it is. Family, friends don't know what it is. What is it? You mean there's no cure or treatment? You can only treat the symptoms? This is what we go through every time we say about my husband's illness. What is catacil? Rare genetic disorder that causes headaches, migraine-like headaches, strokes, mini strokes, dementia, short-term memory loss, and many more symptoms. Because of so many symptoms, there's no treatment or cure. This is why I started a nonprofit. Because you can put a man on the moon, but yet there's no cure or treatment for catacil. This is Steve's family. His father had catacil and passed the gene on to three of his five children. His sister, who was diagnosed two years ago, has two sons and a granddaughter has not been tested. His brother has two sons and one, thank goodness, does not have catacil and the other one has not been tested. What a legacy to pass catacil onto your children. 50% chance that they could have this dreadful disease. This is Noelle, our youngest child. She has not been tested but she does have the 50% chance of having catacil. This is Natalie, our oldest child. She also has a 50% chance. She has two beautiful children, our grandkids, and if she has catacil, they have the 50% chance. These are our grandchildren, Aaliyah, nine, and Darius, five. If their mother, Natalie, has catacil, they have 50% chance. Catacil has no gender boundaries or ethnicity boundaries. There is no age to be tested for catacil. It's a personal choice. Has your daughter's been tested? We get asked a lot. Natalie and Noel get tired of this question when they explain about catacil. A genetic counselor will assist you in your decision whether or not to be get, get tested. You need to ensure you see a counselor before you decide to go through with the test. Hi, my name's Steve. I was diagnosed with catacil in 1997 at age 41 years old. Today I'm 55. I've had quite a few TIAs and several strokes. How I cope with Catacel is I make sure that I get up each day, get out of bed and start doing things around the house. I keep my mind occupied doing crossword puzzles, word games, making sure that my mind is busy. This helps to keep me occupied to ensure that I don't fall into a depressive state. I've, my wife and I have always talked about this, but I tell her that there could always be somebody out there that's worse off than me. Tomorrow you could get hit by a bus. So that helps me keep grounded and stay focused. And keeping that broad outlook and that good sense of humor has helped me establish a key grounding with my disease. Thank you. We also live each day and enjoy each other and live a life to the fullest because we love each other and together we indeed have hope. This is my husband, Steve, who's oh. on the camera. <laughs> this is what a good sense of humor we have. <laughs> <laughs>